Okay, welcome to lesson um, eight of our uh, coin token game. And hopefully, you're using my scripts, not trying to get older scripts um, because you don't want to type these scripts because then the game's not going to work as we go through different levels. You need to type these scripts that we're doing. You can modify them if you want, but you need to have the scripts I'm typing here. So what I've been doing, of course, is I have a um, bunch of scripts, and I name them so that uh, I know what they are. And so this is uh, my player move score script. Let me click on it. And do not type um, Let's go to the uh, different script to start off. Don't keep retyping this. Um, let it uh, just add to the current script. Copy and paste it. So here's the new script we're going to have. Game Manager. And if you name it Game Manager, it's spelled exactly like this, with no space, capital G, capital M, you'll get this cogwheel from Unity. And it'll let you know it's a Game Manager. So, um, we're going to start keeping score and be able to do other things. Maybe keep a high score um, and do some other things with this game manager that we have not done before. And therefore, we're going to make it a static game manager. Therefore, it can be used in other scripts, other scenes. Um, we don't have to keep redoing it, retyping it. It's going to be in effect for all of our scenes um, for our game. And we're going to do something new instead of void start. We're going to do void awake, which comes before even start. As soon as the game starts, if you will, um, or becomes awake, that's going to start, this is going to be run. So in this case, it's our game manager. We want the instance to be run. So we want to see if it exists. Um, the instance for our game manager, if it does, we're going to sign it. To our current game manager object um, and if it make sure it's equal to the game object okay and if we have an extra one we're going to destroy it so if we have an extra let me move this back a little so if we already have a game object um, in play we're going to destroy it we only need one So when we change scenes, we want the game object to still be in effect. And um, in this case, we're going to increase the public score. Can I move this back a little? I guess not. So anyway, um, so in this case, we're going to take... Um, uh, whatever instance we want and we're going to increase our score and it's going to increase by the amount so if we're at 0 it's going to go to 1 and if it's 1 it's going to go to 2 etc ok so we're adding to the score in this case we're just going to print the score of course we're not going to be doing that um, once we get a uh, user interface but for this, that's what we're going to do. So this is our game manager script um, here. And then we're going to um, put it on the game manager. So game manager. In this case, I have a space in between it. Um, you can up here, but not down here if you want to see that cogwheel. And then we just have to modify our player um, I need to close some of these. Player move score. So again, this is the same player move. I just copied it and pasted it into a new script and named it player move score so I know what it is. You should have all of this already typed. Don't retype it. 
and because you'll be doing a lot of time, spending a lot of time with stuff you don't need to do. So the only thing we're changing um, is here. So um, before, and I see I'm not printing my other objects I had. So I think I have printed um, when I hit my enemy and also when I won, though I don't have them typed here. So you may have those. In fact, let's just go get those. Here we go. So we'll just get these. That's the advantage of having a bunch of different scripts. Okay, so now I still have my other ones. I'm gonna hit, if I hit my enemy, if I get to my um, goal, then I've won. So I took out this print. We used to have a print right here. I got rid of it because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to increase the score. Okay. And let's save it. And of course you have to, um, if you're going to have a bunch of scripts like me, you're going to have to then go to your um, player, remove here, remove component the old one, like player move trigger, and then drag the player move score up here. And of course your game manager, you're going to drag your game manager up here. Save them. Let's play it. Actually, let's go to the console so we can see it. Let's clear it. So there's my one. I've got one coin. Two coins. Let's go see if we can get hit by a spaceship. Got hit by my spaceship. And let's just get one more coin. So now we're at three. And let's get to my goal. We won. Now, since we've already seen that, I'm going to get rid of it. Um, I want to see my gameplay, so I'm going to go up here, Game Manager, Game, right here, Maximize and Play. Um, what we need to do is take this um, goal, if you will, and maybe put it up here somewhere, and put some levels, some objects you have to jump up to get to it. Or if you have that parkour game, you could do that too. So anyway, start arranging your coins, arranging your spaceships and stuff, so you're going to have to get to this goal without getting hit because eventually we're going to have a life on this thing and it's going to um, you're not going to make it if you get hit by all these spaceships so we want to make it competitive and, and hard and enjoyable um, not too easy and then not too hard so and that's why we want to publish it in the game so that um, people can give you their opinion of whether it is too easy or too hard and there's maybe something else that's not working correctly so anyway, um, that's where we are right now. Of course, we're going to keep adding to it. it. means you have to have my scripts. Don't be trying to copy older scripts. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to have the UI interface and stuff that we're going to need. So anyway, uh, give it a try. Let me know if you have any problems.